in the wave of COVID-19 spreading over the earth, there's been an avalanche of claims from proponents of alternative medicine methods. Some of these are from homeopaths, others from acupuncture and herbal medicine, and there are several others like use of vitamins and colloidal silver. What is quite interesting about many of these methods is that they are in fact old. Some of them are very old, which means that it's quite uh, unlikely that anyone can say anything whether they will work against the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. Some of these methods have been used in previous epidemics, but when one looks at the scientific evaluations, it turns out that it's quite questionable whether those treatments had any role at all in those epidemics. So we really must be critical towards those claims. The fact that uh, we do not have um, uh, well-established working pharmacological treatments of COVID-19 is no reason to use non-working methods. Uh, a vacuum is always filled with garbage when it comes to um, health matters. Uh, there are very many uh, methods promoted when there are no good available treatments uh, that can be recommended. But um, uh, as I said, this is no uh, good reason because that means that uh, people will be wasting time and wasting money on methods that have not been found to work. These methods can do harm uh, because uh, people may rely on these non-working methods and use them for a period of time instead of seeking professional help with evidence-based methods. So people may lose time, and in the meantime, the disease may get even worse. An even greater potential problem can be that people use these alternative methods, perhaps even prophylactically, and think that they will be protected. And this may lead to these people uh, taking greater risks, both for themselves, exposing themselves to people who are infected, and they may, if they have the virus, they may go on infecting other people if they think that these methods work. So there are great dangers with these methods. They can lead people into a false belief in that the, the disease is not as severe as it really is. What has been especially marketed in the past couple of months 